add a touch of spring to your Easter table with these beautiful dinner rolls, hand painted with pretty spring flowers. Julie Ash joining me through the screen to share the how-to on these edible pieces of art. Julie, happy spring. We're, we're willing spring to come no matter what the weather says, but it's great to have you part of Studio 5 today. Amen. <laughs> so is this Hi. an art project or is this a baking project or I guess both? It's a little bit of both. <laughs> so it's really fun. It's something you can do with your kids. It's something you can bring them into and then they get to eat it when they're all finished with it. Oh, and they I get to show their creative. I'm just seeing your cute helper. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to ignore. Who do you have with you? This is Kezi. She's my daughter and she's going to help paint today. Okay. I'm glad to learn from both of you. So the bread becomes the canvas. How so? Teach us how you do this. Exactly. And let me grab it real quick. I forgot to pull it out. This is TV people. Is it Tansy? Maybe she can't hear me. Oh, how old are you, sweetie? Um, eight. You're eight? It's great to be eight. Is it great to be eight? My daughter is almost eight and she's really excited about it. Yeah? Yeah. It's, it's a good age. Fun. Okay, I'm glad. All right, we've got the dough. Julie, what's okay, the next step? Sorry about that. That's okay. So you can do this on actual bread dough or you can do it on par baked rolls. These are frozen par baked rolls. When I'm doing it with kids, I prefer to do it on the par bakes because then they're not going to push in too deep and and ruin the dough. Okay. So we just take whatever dough you're using, whatever par baked bread or rolls you're using. And then this is the trick. It's gel lightning color. And I like the Chef Master brand, but there's a ton of brands. This one's Deco Pack and it works great. Okay. Um, it's a little thicker than the Chef Master. Um, and this is going to work like an acrylic paint one. And so we'll just throw it into a dish. But edible. Yeah. Um, it's edible. This yeah. is what they use to make the frosting on cakes super okay. white. Okay. Um, and so we'll use, this will be our base and then you can use any food coloring gel, um, any color you want and you add it to the white, um, on its own, it will not look good on the bread, but when you add it to the white, it becomes like a typical, um, acrylic paint would, and you can just use normal paint brushes obviously not ones you've been using to paint with because mm -hmm. we don't want to mix those with when it comes to food mm -hmm. and I just get the paintbrush a little bit wet and then we'll um mix that those two the whitening gel and the color mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. um you don't want to add too much water to begin with but then you can add more um, as you go. So you want it to be a, a pretty smooth consistency. Okay. And I wanted to, I did one of these with a thicker one. And what happens is it doesn't, when you're cooking it, it doesn't cook all the way if it's super thick. So that's the only reason to add the water is because then it will completely dry out while it's cooking. So if I were to pin you so, down on a consistency, kind of hard to describe, I know virtually, but is it is it more thin than like an acrylic paint? It's, you're gonna want it just about the exact, the exact thickness as a, okay. as a typical acrylic paint. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. Cause this, this whitening gel is more thick, more it's thick. a gel. And so you're just, it, it barely takes any water at all. And depending on which brand you're using, you might not need any water. Did you go um, freehand, Julie, or did you look at a template or how did you create those fun flower designs? Um, so we have blue bonnets everywhere right now because we're in Texas and it's that time of year. So I just tried to freehand a little blue bonnet. pretty. Um, when my kids are doing it, sometimes they will Google, you know, a poppy or whatever type of flower they want to do. Uh -huh. um, we do this at other times of the year, too, so you can put like a Santa face on it or whatever. But um, you can do either one. So and does it do change the baking instruction if you're working on the raw dough? No, no. It's, you're still going to bake it the way you normally would. The trick is when you take them out of the oven, you want to take some butter, um, make sure it's cold, and you'll just take the your stick of butter and rub it all over the hot bread, uh -huh. and it will make the paint look fresh, even though it's actually baked into the bread. And it's not paint; it's it's food coloring, but kind of that um, it, that's what makes it look fresh and poppy. Yeah. Um, 
instead of looking dried out from the oven. A couple quick questions before we say goodbye. Does it change the taste at all of your dough? No. Well, okay. It depends on your brand. There are certain food coloring gels that do have a little bit of a bitter taste. Um, but in general, we have not had that problem. Okay. The only one that sometimes changes is if we're using red. Okay. Um, red sometimes gives it a little bit of a different flavor. And is there a certain kind of roll recipe or dough variety that works better or is all dough kind of the same canvas in the end? Sourdough works the best oh. if you are using dough. If you're using par-baked bread, then you're good to go with just about anything. I'm but excited if you're doing to try dough, this. Sourdough is your trick. Yeah, and as your cute helper there is proving, kids can get in on it as well and feel very proud about that roll basket at the Easter dinner table. Julie, thank you so much. Where can we get more recipes and ideas from you? Uh, Tangled with Taste. You can go to tangledwithtaste.com or on Instagram or Facebook. The handle is Tangled with Taste. And we'll link you from our recipe page too. Julie, happy Easter. Thank you so much. And to that cute eight-year-old too. Us. All right. See you later.